next, the core main event. It's a special tag. Sendai Keijimuto and Yoshinari Ogawa versus Kaito Kiyomiya and Kotaro Suzuki. Yes, this is uh, in very much so a generational match, as you can see very easily. Uh, Kiyomiya, on the other hand, who is, has been in, in a kind of like a rut these days, having a hard time winning matches and feeling frustrated and openly showing that frustration out as well. First time, Ogawa and Muto packed up together it was in Kokoraku and Hall in May when Muto joined Stinger alongside Ogawa that day in a winning effort against Harada and Ohara. They were joined by Naomichi Marufuji that day. That was a precursor for Muto's GHC heavyweight title defense at the Cyber Festival in the Saitama Super Arena, which you were present at. Yes. Uh, one of the most awesome moments that I've felt since I've been in this business. Watching uh, like special tag matches like this, where special occasions happen, special talent meet each other, like even though this uh, this is a special match, and of course, not too much is riding on it, the fact that Ogawa-san tag goes to tag with Muto-san, and the fact that uh, Kiyomiya gets to see that and face him when he's 24 years of age, he has seen the heights and is now fa facing the lows in his career. Those moments really teaches you a lot, especially to me as a talent, as I do go through those moments that they are going through right now. Right but now, Kotaro Suzuki, this man brings magic to everyone he tags with. Long history between him and Ogawa in such matches as this one today. 346 together with nearly half as victories. 41 matches against each other with 13 wins, 25 losses. Plenty of history between these two. Beautiful transactions going on right now. Second time in a row. Well, it's a master class when you see these men at work. And Suzuki wisely goes out. Oh! Gets out the leg scissors quite quickly there. The supernova and the crowd in Sendai respond. Of course, Kiyomiya and a has had some very grueling singles matches against both of these men, Muto and Yoshinari Ogawa, this year. Yes. Really, really saw his heart coming out, his spirit, his inner warrior was forced to be pulled out. And now, trying to go with probably the best performer that this business has ever produced, Keiji Muto. No doubt about that, Aki. No doubt at all. Takes the back now, Kiyomiya. And over. something a particular as in, of course, you can't really see the depth, the technicality that Keiji, someone like Keiji Muto can bring. But what happens once you become a, like a veteran, the moves that you don't need to make, you stop making. You start to have less fat in your techniques. You, you start to realize, I don't need to waste energy. You're young, you waste your energy. I'm going to do what's necessary in the least amount of effort that I need to do. And as you can see, Kizimoto has been calm and has been grounded, but he's grounding Kiyomiya with him. He still shows a beautiful shining wizard from time to time, though. Oh, the pleasure to see it. I can't even count the amount of wrestlers I've seen drop the elbow that Keiji Muto has brought into existence. I can't even count the times of variations I've seen of Shining Wizard from talent all around the world. He is so many. Oh my god. He inspired a whole genre of performance in this business. I would say he inspired two generations at least in this business. Yes. Kiyomiya rolls up into the mount, slips through into the side position, but framing up is the strong warrior that is Keiji Muto from the bottom. If I have 
to really think of it. There's very few people I can put in the same category as Keiji Muto. I would say one would be Ric Flair, who created a subgenre in this industry. Oh, beautiful headlock and takedown. But he created a subgenre in the performance art of it. Hulk Hogan would be one. He created a separate genre in that sense. Stone Cold would be one. But those are the names you have to bring up when you talk about KG Muto. Or Jushin Thunder Liger would be one. I've said it before, but KG Muto made his debut in October of 1984. Mind blowing. My dad was a youngster then. Forget about me being born. Yeah, over the top. Huge elbow drop from Kaito Kiyomiya there. <laughs> Kiyomiya has won six of his last ten outings. He's partnered up with Suzuki five times and won twice together. He's faced each other uh, ten times and Kiyomiya has won seven. Let's run things back to June 13th, uh, the first of our Noah Prima premium match series. Kiyomiya and Ogawa in a mesmerizing singles match that played out over nearly 40 minutes. Wow. Uh, it was like Ogawa was teaching him little lessons while Kiyomiya was almost performing for Ogawa in the absence of a crowd and in spite of the cameras. It was something else. Yeah, those moments are hard to come by, and especially if you get to feel them. And the veteran, of course. Two rolls over onto the apron. Referee telling Kiyomiya to step back and give him some space. Yeah. Keiji Muto needs to showboat to nobody. He will do what he wants to do. He says, time, I'll take my time. He's asking for a time stop yeah. to get some photo ops by the looks of it. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Oh, no. Is he, 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 he decides to take a chair? Three. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll take Four. my time. The 20 count starts. Five. <laughs> oh, yes. Six. Oh, yes. He's going to take his time and stretch Seven. off. Oh, yes. It takes the older boys a little Eight. bit longer to warm up. Oh, yeah, of Once they get going. Nine. And once you're Keiji Muto, you do what the hell you want. Eight. I don't think Eight. anyone's going to complain. No, no. Eight. I'm pretty sure he can actually ask and order the commentary to stop counting. I'm pretty sure he can do that. <laughs> Around Jedi 16. mind tricks. Yeah. 16. Start again. Yeah, I'll be here, referee, don't count. Oh, oh, he is running it down. And here it is. Final seconds, Keiji Mito rolls in over the apron with a cheeky little smile. Oh my god, he is one of his kind. Tags in Ogawa. Oh yes. Ogawa only too happy to oblige. Ogawa wants Kiyomiya. <coughs> Still a lot of unfinished business between the two. Ogawa really, as I said, teaching him little lessons every time they tie up. Oh, look at this from Kiyomiya. Beautiful work. It's the scissors. Oh! Nice control of the wrist. Keeping Kiyomiya. Oh, look at this now. Chicken wing. Still has that arm. Go off the ropes. Side headlock now, Yoshinari Kurogawa. I think the instinct as a veteran in Ogawa won't allow him to just ignore Kiyomiya. No, he, he knows he has to be very wary because Kiyomiya is, is so damn hungry still. Oh, yes. And it feels like, Ogawa feels like, I can show you where to drive that hunger. I can show you. Channel it. Channel it. You have everything. You have the youth. You have the height. You have the time. Yet. And you can feel that really when he asks him, like, no, 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 stay in. 
Kiyomiya Kiyomiya made his professional Kiyomiya. debut Kiyomiya. in December of 2015, Ogawa in September of 1985. Oh my, oh. Ah! Classic Kiyomiya, but comes off on the wrong end of that exchange. Was that an elbow for the face? It was. Rolling elbow. Kotaro Suzuki in now against Yoshinari Ogawa. Rope to rope. Ooh. Those are a well oiled machine. Suzuki slowly. Kotaro Suzuki is a former four time GHC junior heavyweight champion. Defended it successfully 16 times in 16. That is an impressive oh. ring. 10 minutes in here. He also, went in a blink of an eye. Snaps him over, Keiji Mudo. Keiji Mudo! Bishop's elbow. Double trouble. He's got the leg and the neck locked up. That's to in full effect. <laughs> Suzuki trying to give up. Give up. Escape no. to the side. It's a rope break. Toro Suzuki is a former Wrestle 1 champion, former Zero 1 champion also. And he's held the GHC Heavyweight Tag Team Championship five times. With different partners, but the most recent was Atsushi Kotoge. Oh, yeah. It would be way easier for you, Stuart, to count the champions he hasn't held. That'd be very easy. If you start counting the turtles Casey Muto have held, oh, we're gonna be here even after the show ends. But now, taking his time, slowly and surely bringing some damage to Suzuki's leg. Keiji Muto so good at attacking the legs of his opponents. Suzuki makes to the rope, okay. clearing a lot of pain with his right leg after that exchange. Yoshinori Ogawa comes in following the tag from Keiji Muto, follows up with a stomp onto Suzuki, drags him to his feet. Oh, watch out now. Hammering down into the back with the elbow. Scissor takedown from Yoshinari Ogawa. Oh, look at that. Punishing the legs of Kotaro Suzuki. Ogawa. Very well he's working the team, I would say. Uh, Ogawa and Mutosan. Cranking down on that left leg. Look at the elbow into the shin there, between the shin and the yeah. bone and the flesh. Yeah. So it's not just the pressure on the ankle. Yeah. Really giving him trouble putting all of his weight on the knee as well, twisting it to the side. No sign of give up from Kotaro Suzuki. Ogawa drags him over to the ropes and yeah, he is going to hammer down onto that left knee of Suzuki, continuing to do the damage. Keiji Mito back in. Again, very smooth transitions in and out between the team. And the, oh, 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 it's a single ah. leg, there it is! Ah. 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 Here we go, Dragon Screw into a figure four. Classic KG Muto. Suzuki might be forced to tap out here, Aki. Yeah. Uh, all the submissions up until now have been more to, towards the damage. They know he's not going to give up yet, but that will help them win. But this one seems to be like he wants it to make a statement. He would want to have a give up here. The guardrails crashing in the background, but the pain and anguish on the face of Kotaro Suzuki, evident for everyone here in Sendai, trying to drag himself across. Can he get the rope break? Yeah. And he's far, he's far. He's really desperately trying. Ah, uh, does he make it? Yes. Agent <laughs> forced to let go of that one, but the damage is already done. It has been. Oh! <laughs> Low angle drop kick from Muto. 
tags in Yoshinari Ogawa. Oh, back door. Oh. Looking very spent and unable to put too much weight on his leg by oh, yes. that left leg. He had an opportunity there, but due to that leg, he couldn't capitalize on it. Ito and Ogawa constantly attacking that leg of Suzuki. Mortified Boston there asking for Kiyomiya. Kiyomiya gets the save. Hammers down into the back of Ogawa. Very good on Kiyomiya to notice uh, Suzuki's hand asking for him to come in. He knew he couldn't make it to the rope. 15 minutes now as the battle continues on. Buto and Ogawa putting on a clinic. Really does. Ogawa actually uh, like showing him tapping his knee like that's how you walk a leg. Look at it. Come on. again with the save. Oh, you have had enough. It feels like this is not going anywhere. Training slaps now. Oh, right on top of Suzuki. The veteran playing Kiyomiya like a flute. Ogawa's oh, ring awareness, second to none. Splash, crossbody splash there from Kiyomiya. Finally getting some comeuppance. Yeah, giving him some opportunity, but as Kiyomiya is also down, there's no way of making a tag. Head to head now, Ogawa and Suzuki. Handspring. Fantastic work from Kotaro Suzuki there. Gotcha! Yeah, using his hands instead of his legs to make sure he can yeah! force that. And back elbow right into an attack. Drop kick. Kaito Kiyomiya looks for the cover. Kick so easily. Massive elbow drop from Kaito Kiyomiya. High elevation. Look at her. High he's flying with those. There's a leg drop following up. Off the ropes, Kiyomiya again Ooh. with the elbow drop, Yoshinari Ogawa literally did a Muto elbow in front of Muto and pointed at him. The youth is cocky no matter where you look. Hello. It's good to see that from him. Kiyomiya flips out of that one easily. Still have everything in his tank. Feeding off the crowd. The supernova makes his way onto the top ropes. Here and now. Still two. Ogawa in this. Beautiful drop kick by Kiyomiya. Oh, Round smash, doubles up. Six, seven, eight, nine. And an uppercut for good measure. Just pounding on Ogawa. Almost taking his frustration out. Winding up into that last one like Muhammad Ali drops. Ogawa down into the corner. Ikeda! Fired up. All running on emotions is Ki Kinomiya. Off the oh. second row. Ah, nobody home there. Ogawa just getting out of the way. Looking for the tag. Keiji Muto is in. Kinomiya doesn't know it. No, he does. Now he does. Corner. Oh, there it is. Oh. The kick and yeah. look at the dragon screw. Kiyomi oh. has seen it one too many times, manages to counter it. Away from the submission danger of Kaito Kiyomiya. Tags in Kotaro Suzuki. Limping on that left leg still. 
Corner to corner, Suzuki comes in to Muto. Flying knee! Planting that perfectly on. Uh, reverse side, 619. Landed that perfectly onto the former GHC heavyweight champion. Motaro Suzuki launching a comeback now here in Sendai. Yeah, that takes down Ogawa, and now they have likes to attack us. Double drop kick! Beautiful elevation, picture perfect timing. Textbook work from Kiyomiya and Suzuki. Kiyomiya has the back, he's looking for the suplex, sits down into it. Neji Muto taking punishment for Suzuki at the front. There it is! 20 minutes in, and Keiji Muto receives a suplex from Kiyomiya. Suzuki looking to finish things off here. The double underhook. And lifts him up. Wow! Tiger driver! Oh, barely! That was so close, too close for comfort. Barely makes it out. On the face of Keiji Muto. This is a super special tag match for Sendai here today. Another one. Dara comes in with a save. Exchange of blows now. Suki and Ogawa. Ogawa has the back. Beautiful side suplex. Oh, oh, yes, rolls him up. Ah! <laughs> the ropes into the post. Hands him up to drive. For the knee, Kezi Mutel. It's all saw it coming that time. There's the dragon screw. The <laughs> movements is Kezi Mutel and Ogawa together. Ogawa falls up with a dragon screw of his own. And here we see Kezi Mutel on fire. We're gonna see it. Size yeah, enough. Suzuki with a shining wizard. Shining wizard completely locked in. Here we go to. Oh, there it is. Kiji Muto stops Kotaro Suzuki. That is it. Shining wizard. Completely beautifully executed by Kiji Muto. What a finishing sequence that was from the veterans and legends Yoshinari Ogawa and Keiji Muto. Yeah, and as you can see, a beautiful, like basically a light handshake for the appreciation. We're like, hey, you did good, you did good. <laughs> we are good. Something very special for Sendai and the world here today. Take a look at this moment. It might be a slice of history never to be repeated. プロレス。ここにあります。さまざまなプロレスコンテンツが月額900円でいつでもどこでも見放題。ここでしか見られない試合もプロレス見るならレッスルユニバース。